Hidden Object Guru here, about to play a preview of Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders on Xbox One. Now, here's my question about Xbox One. Doesn't it seem like the menu here should be able to figure out the uh, does not affect alphabetization? No? And also, Agatha Christie's baby should make it... Either way, it's in the V's. We're fine. We're pressing start. So, I'm a big fan of the book and Agatha Christie in general. But I have no idea what the game is going to be. I haven't kept up with its development in the least. All I know is... I don't, I don't even know what genre it is. It's probably not a first-person shooter. Probably. But uh, despite the, me being the hidden object gamer, I have no expectation this will actually be. So let's, uh, let's enjoy and discover it together. Uh-oh, microids. Wow. They've done something. And I mean, they're just publishers. Ooh, cell shaded Hercule Poirot. I'm already excited. Fugthi. Why would you not just assume? You know, forget it. Uh, timeline reconstruction. Oh, you can un unlock mustaches. That's so fantastic. Uh, options. I'm sure the subtitles are. Yep. Ooh. Turn it to French. All those levels seem fun. No. No, I think... Kind of sad I can't use them. No. Oh. You know, I've read, I think, almost every Hercule Poirot book, and I've watched every episode of the TV. I think I can act like Hercule Poirot. For example, I pronounce it Aircule without the H. Some post view Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe, but please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. <laughs> oh, that's quite a capital A. I'm already excited. They have to have changed who the killer is, right? But then you're not really adapting the ABC. Well, you are adapting it. It's such a beautifully told story that it, but well, we'll see. It's great seeing Poirot with a full head of hair. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it's David Suchet, but he was bald for so long on that show. Indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. So, apparently I can get ego points. I will look out for that. Apparently in this uh, preview version, the help does not work. Yet they still uh, pitch it at me at every opportunity. Well, you know what? I, I hope I don't need it. I actually know what the buttons do yet. Dash! A puddle! How 
clumsy. Oh. That is not acting like it. Oh. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock. We took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. Okay, that is handy. At what time? Let me just... Okay. Oh, spectacles for looking and... Uh... Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Okay. Yes, but how do I select the clue? Do I want to press B? Then. Indeed, Poirot. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Oh. Jab is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. So they're taking the uh, first appearance Last breakdown. To see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. That was in the last Sherlock Holmes game, Crime and Punishment, and then pulling it here, which they should. It was a great system. The was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. A little too easy, don't you think? You like <laughs> complications, don't you? Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? Of I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. So has he told him about the letter yet? Because... It seems like that would be super, super valuable information. This fruit and vegetable shop has a front row seat, therefore, an employee might have noticed some. I concur with your assessment, Poirot. I still don't know what that plus is. Like, uh, the, the back button doesn't... Pause just tick here. Oh! Alright, it's shaped like the plus. Uh, inspect the crime scene. Go and meet Jack. Friends Asher lived alone, killed in the tobacco shop. You know, um, she owns a tobacco shop. Sounds great. You know, would have sound greater game. She is a tobacconist. If that's the kind of thing that Hercule Poirot might say, what? Oh, little gray cells. Oh. That's so beautiful. Stuff I established in like two some answers. Place the clues in the empty box to fill the holes. Uh, okay, so obviously. Yeah. So if we find there's cash in. The Jar. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's. It's you know this is clearly adapted from a point-and-click adventure. I don't mind moving uh, him around with one stick and the mouse around with another. It's not going to ask me for I'll quick action the, minute, the way Poirot. Sherlock Holmes did help. That was the one problem with that. Otherwise, a wonderful crime and punishment game. Time I was asked to quickly click on a thing. Without having a mouse to do it. Same time, I really should check to see if work for the next box one at some point. All right, here we go. So obviously he doesn't care about. It. Oh, the fuck! Uh, obviously he doesn't care about fingerprints. 
Hmm. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers may... Well, that action. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. Around after she dies. This poor woman's head. Um, hmm. I can't see any other mark on the floor. Again, I'm gonna say that means they're going to fight. She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Actually, a lot of stuff got knocked over for some. What's that? She's clutching in her hand. And more importantly, why can't I on the back of the head. interact with it? Yeah. So obviously she felt comfortable enough with her killer to turn her back to him. Or he's a ninja who snuck up on her. Going. Ooh. Left stick. And the hand icon is pointing. Hand icon grabs an element, press left trigger, and move it with the right stick. Okay. Teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Okay. So I open. Something is preventing the drawer from. You can figure that out. Oh, is that a locking? Ah! In with left trigger. Grab with left trigger and then uh, clonk. Mechanism has just made a fan click. To keep, you know, casual passers by from me. Click. The till is full of money, but there is something strange. Yeah, what's something this? Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. Over on the side, so it's eight, five, two, eight fifty-two. Okay, we can do that. Be eight. Oh, can't do eight hundred. Uh, eight five two. This must be the key to the back of. I will collect ego points and unlock a cheap. Discover the actions with. I'll do that too. They are secret. You can't stop me. In a mess on the shelf. Tobacco. Thank you for the. Oh, right, the thing that we saw the guy underline. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. Oh, just like the letter. Oh, hello, what's this now? Another look. It's open, Adelaide. There are no prints on the book. Ugh. Oh. Well, still we invest. There's blood coming out of it. Why did I think the uh, railway guide was more important? Red liquid is oozing out. Oh, it's wrong. No. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. I will check over there. Thank you for the suggestion, Monsieur Poirot. 
third item. Ooh, handprints all over the camp. It's covered with fingerprints. Oh, yes, because there's so many. All right. I guess we're... How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the camp? Hey, let's, uh, let's solve that little gray cell thing. That there was nothing stolen. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Hey, local expense. What is what is happening? See, I'm trying to prove what he. Yes, yeah, just like the suit. I'm trying to prove what he said. Finding nothing suggests any sign of a fight. Okay. Yeah, this observation is. A... Ah, Hastings. So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exactly. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. Oh, Hastings. Is he? Okay, he is gone. A weird hesitation. Right. Clue available. All right. Little gray cell time. I can say definitely not. Success. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle. Yep. Also, I think we can prove she was killed on sight because there's no, uh, there's just a pool of blood right under her head where she fell. The Y and A because blood around her head and no drag marks on the floor. Mrs. Asher was killed here. That's right. I pay because attention when I read detective novels. The regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Ta da! Thank you. This is the final clue. Do I have anything to, uh. Well, yeah, obviously. Oh. Do I actually already have the, uh. Yeah, I mean, obviously. The murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. Huh. Now, I know this is going to sound strange, and maybe this is a better Belgian accent. The door is locked. I really am missing. Let's get that item. Oh, so I select the item, then I... Check out her bed area. Uh-oh. Blood. On the handkerchief. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? Who could this be? Oh, the, the abusive husband, right. An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. Huh. Like the best uh, suggestion, right? Ooh. It's like a puzzle. Such All right. pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. Percent agree. Ah, oh, okay. So can I only move... The wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. Ah, I see. So 
obviously not that one. But both. This might be the wrong middle, guys. The wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. Oh, I see. Move the flower irrespective of... Something else? Uh, let's get the wooden flower to a nice starting place, shall we? The wooden flower is preventing... Yes, I'm, I know. I'm trying to move. Thank you for jumping. All right. Oh, come on. The wooden flower is... Oh, my God. You don't have to tell me that every time. I already know that I'm a failure. to worry the wooden flower is preventing yes, I'm, I'm the circle from turning the wooden flower is preventing the circle oh my god let me pick up the wooden flower then I'd like to make a transfer all the way down. Let's... Wow, you are just... Sorry, am I not allowed to stop there? I'm not. Okay. That's weird, right? The flower is preventing the circle from... That's why I tried to grab the wooden flower. You know, if you just lit up what I was trying to move, that would actually be a huge help, rather than just constantly. Can you see where that would be? Antigous? Okay, so. You want to get in here. Like, what is a position that gets us all the way in? Okay, so if I can somehow get the flower into this bad boy right here. I'm set. I'm laughing, right? Okay. So let's let's make that our new tent. The wooden flower is Oh my god. You were the worst. Don't get me wrong, Pro Row. Love ya. Think you're the best. Easy. Move them over a little. Move them over a little more. Actually. Oh, thank God. That took longer than I wanted it to, but we are done. Right? I hear the faint sound as if some. I heard something unlocked too, and this woman, you know, for a random murder victim, had a weirdly large a number of uh, secret puzzles. Not that I'm complaining. It is blocked. I like secret puzzles. Mm, it is blocked. What do you mean it's blocked? I just unlocked it. Did that not? Un God, is there more to do? 
Of course they're fine. Like, is there a clue for this one I'm missing? Yeah. All right, so let's now let's look at the birds on the top. We have to have rotate. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Okay, I can do that. So, These uh, appear to be yes, yes, I'm well aware. Okay, so the bottom left one, the bird is going facing to the. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Let's check the other ones. She put a lot of work into hiding. Okay. Uh, the top left bird is upside down. Hit him. Bottom left? Bottom right, I mean. Yes. Facing east and the big puff is facing left. Oh, he was already correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and now this guy is turned well, clockwise. degrees. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, done and done. Laudanum. That's a... Medicine. Laudanum-based cough medicine, Mrs. Asher. She have it's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. Laboratory. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover. To Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Eleven dollars is all the funeral costs. In the past, uh, hmm, thought I had already fully investigated. No, I have. Don't confuse me like that. Change the look of the thing when I fully investigated. Oh, I got ego points just for him checking his mustache. Oh, you're the best, Pyro. This interior is very simple. It's true. Of all right. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. Well, she was just a tobacconist. The lamp. Guess we're on to the table. What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. Oh, good. Another uh, puzzle. This time one for sliding boxes, which I'm bad at, Fame. Uh, hope. I hope you enjoy failure. Mm, it is blocked. There's 
it's not the most naturalistic way to uh, design a puzzle guide. Also, spoiler alert, you can learn a lot from the... Letting people... They're terrible at Oh, a button! This button appears to activate... Great if it was... Oh, wait, that was one. Ah, I bet you want to be open. Mm, it is blocked. Yeah, of course. Take another look. So I clicked a button here. Has that affected this? Mm, it is blocked. Mm, it is blocked. Yeah, I'm clicking here. Yeah, thump. But yeah, if if I could use the tab buttons or the triggers or the the thumb pad to move this a little while I was interrogating it, that would be great. So all this. Oh, hello. Mm, it is blocked. Oh, Poirot. I know that you love puzzle boxes, but do you know what I love more than puzzle boxes? Uh, crowbars. Apparently crowbars are real. Oh, there it is. Very weird puzzle. That should do it. Oh. Oh, what's this? Childhood photos. Some jewels. Is this young woman? Oh, it's not her. To my dear Aunt Alice, Marie Drower. Drower? She's got a D in her name. Wait, do we not look at the... Found anything? Jewelry? The victim has a niece. We must find her. Oh, chap. Don't know why him being unshaven I wasn't... I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. I'll try. So there was no... I've finished with this subject. Kind of really weird jewelry was not in any way. But I gotta say, I do appreciate the game telling me when I'm done with an error. Too many games to not give you that heads up. You spend an extra... Letters, a lovely large letters, four pence only. Let's find out who bought those strawberries, shall we? Investigation time. This woman appears to be a smoker. She brought over the strawberries. The milk bottle isn't too good. That matches up. Uh... She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Oh, yeah. Your strawberries appear to be rather soft. Soft? The cheek of it. What are you trying to say? Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot. The detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you'll hear about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. 
Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. Oh, that's tough. What would Hercule Poirot do? Be a dick about it? Please try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? Heh. <laughs> wow. Well, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. Horrible monster. I know that you went to the tobacco there. shop yesterday. Well? It is your duty to tell me if you saw something unusual. Who do you think you are telling me what to do? I'm I'm Get working with the police. From my stall. What is wrong with this lady? Oh, you again? I've nothing to say. The hell? Well, I obviously did that wrong, but strawberries six pence a pound. Hey, Poirot. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? No, please leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I... Well, she got there fast. So we're gonna have to, you know, schlep somewhere to. Oh. I'm I'm glad it's part of my collection. What was she doing? Let's uh, check out the little... Oh, can we establish the time? That actually does that. Uh, cigarette pack and then the... Vic Getting a smoke? Okay. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. He hid the shopkeeper from me. Yeah, that makes sense. Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. Is it? He apparently also cleaned up the blood, which that was pretty, you know. Is that scientific? All right, here we go. Time for another observation. Is our grief sincere? Oh, good question. She appears to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks for Jail. Well, that's that's all pretty superficial. I don't know if that really tells you anything. Okay. Let's have a conversation, Mary, and Oh again, what would Poirot do? Well, she hasn't been hysterical yet, so I don't think he would snap at her. You are very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had. Since my mother died. Children. If you are her only relative, you would be the only one who inherits. Sir, my aunt was poor. And in any case, I'm not interested well, was... in any legacy. <laughs> okay, that was... I enjoyed intuiting, but obviously that was wrong. Oh, I am bad at interviewing people. My yeah, apologies. Central. I see that you mean what you say. <laughs> oh, well, that's something. But garbage at these interviews. If, uh, yeah, let's do the more general. Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. 
Did you haunt enjoy good as? She had a bad throat. She was well cared for by a doctor. Yeah, how did she? Does Franz Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but he used to be a very good cabinet maker. The puzzle cat. What does he live on? My aunt used to give him five shillings a week. Why did she support such a good for nothing? He was her husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. I understand. You have been of good. Okay, so the things over the head. Tells me how they're feeling. Please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as Jam said. And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. It's true. Especially when he didn't rob the place. I've finished with this subject. Just check it and see if, uh... Last scene live at 5.30. Body discovered 11. I don't think that's a big enough time. Well, yeah, if we find out what strawberries were. Did she walk in and put the strawberries on the... people right yeah of course what the oh friends asher turned up rather quickly we have to and he's been in a fight sleep it off he's always that must be some way of sobbing i wonder what his wife used to do he must have skipped hey what no they're about friends Pressing up. Uh, cabin maker. Let's have a convo. It's not in any condition to be questioned. Rotten uh, strawberries? That was. Hmm. A box of new stockings. It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Ah, that's interesting. Bodley. The fruit seller has debts too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Say? Mary Drower was telling the truth. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. This is all pretty useful information. How much is a dram? There are cigarettes packets in a mess. Alright. Sober some. Wow, he's already asleep. Ooh. Totally gonna check. I am accusing you of the murder of Mrs. Asher. It's quite an accusation, Poirot. It wasn't me! According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie! She owed me one pound! I swear! Now, please be so kind as to explain this. 
Look at my account book. Alice owed me 11 pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. Oh. She owed me one pound. And that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. But I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Do you want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. Well, you've been lying and... I am counting on you. Jerk about this whole investigation. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries uh. on the counter and left. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? The book. The book. You saw the book. Well, maybe one thing. There was always a railway guide on the counter. Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You were not allowed? I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? Why am I wearing a head? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. I'm just so used to her for something. Well, recording me from the computer instead of it. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Serious racism. No. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. It's weird that no one discovered the body earlier. Uh... Open that late. Uh, yeah, 5.30. Oh, right. All right, we now have a timeline. My favorite kind of line. Is that I'm some kind of seltzer water? Take it. It's what Alice used to sober up her husband. Oh, that's good. But try not to empty the bottle. Vinegar. Oh. Yeah, that does not sound pleasant. But it is important. Now that I've taken off my head so that I can hear the snoring. He's not Hilarious. In to be questioned. I have to I'm trying to. Oh, right, I've used that. Yeah, I think the smell of vinegar would help wake me. Mes amis, I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather, it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. Oh, yeah. Hastings. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. You can't catch a breath. And then there's that time you accidentally killed that lady. In perhaps the funniest thing to happen in a Poirot has a bad state. Flip, flip. Really, the torn jacket wasn't the clue? Where the hell is the clue? This man has been fighting, and he smells of alcohol. I stand by where I clicked, guys. Seriously. Okay. Let's hear him out.
care for a cigarette, monsieur? I think that's a good way to start. Scented cigarette? Oh, right. No thanks. Bien. I was trying to be friendly, but you are quite right. Let us get down to business. You threatened to kill your wife, and now she is dead. So what? You shouldn't take things so seriously, sir. Nothing but empty threats. We didn't get on all that badly. So, if things were going so well with your wife, why did you not live with her? She was the one that left. Nothing to do with me, sir. You can't have treated her very well for her to run away. No, sir, no. I wouldn't say I'd ever laid a finger on her, but it was only normal. She was my wife. I thought this guy was supposed to be German. I don't know what you mean. I'm totally gonna mock this guy. Who says that someone gave you a good beating? A beating? No way. All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. You see the state of him. Oh. Very interesting. Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Yesterday afternoon, I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. An illegal bet. That's this guy's such a classy yes, British accent. Our He's dog a German won. immigrant. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. And you thought about it. What time was this? In the evening, about six, I think. We were on the other side of town. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. Oh, that's actually a pretty good alibi. If Roderick Tanner back. Usher's up. alibi appears to be confirmed. All oh. the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this Tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chat. That that would be what would confirm One the alibi. Jap. Usher was a ruffian who used. To... But he's not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. That's probably. Let's true. resume this thing. We know the murderer pretended to be a customer. He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, it's likely he wrote the letter. Yeah. Indeed, but that doesn't explain why and how he did it. You are quite right. Why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to... Yay! I'm already excited. Reconstruction of each one. Sounds like these bonuses are great. All right. I wouldn't say this game has the best tutorials, but it's been pretty clear. Obviously, he talked to her. Mrs. Hasher turns around to greet a customer. I would like them. The murderer asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. It was face down. And places the ABC upside down before leaving. So it would stay open to that page. That's right, I was ABC paying attention. It appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. I don't know if he murdered her with a cane. That seems odd. Yeehaw! Asher has a strong alibi, and we don't have any other suspects. I can play the reconstruction again whenever what I want. What's the point of She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She was an old man. No doubt about it. The murderer is in. Hmm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. You got that right. It's not called the ABC murder. Let's go back to London. Uh, if we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. No, I'm so oh, proud of myself for that one. With Andover. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? I wonder how far out Andover is from London. Just look that up. Guys. Now there's nothing to do but go back to home base and wait for another murder. Which, yikes. Well, do you have any idea about the killer's identity? 
Hmm. Question. The crime was committed by a man of medium height with red hair and suspicious Mid. eyes. He has a slight limp on the right foot and a wart just below his shoulder blade. Oh, Poirot. Mon ami, what do you want? You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement à la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What should Ouch. we do then? Nothing. Nothing? Do not be so impatient, Estings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. Why, well, I hope I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. I would go and see. Is it another letter from... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's just check something. I've received new thumbnails. What the hell are thumbnails? Okay, still chapter one. Good. Uh... This is a chapter one only preview, so I don't want to risk going over. Oh, we can no examine the... Uh... Oh! Oh, look, it's his, uh... It's, uh... It's a gavial or a gator or something that uh, Hastings brought back from South America. Our own... A, B, C. Or do we take it with us? Andover, Hampshire, population 31,200 inhabitants. What? Not small. Andover to kill someone named Asher. Uh, oh. Well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. The next crime will be in Bexhill. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. You know what I like? That they're not worried about uh, any of that lip syncing. Not. It's impossible to get through to... What? Really? That, is that true? I mean... Daily wouldn't they put her cure for Rosa? 22nd, 1935. Battle over control of bank system. What will the government do for money? Endover. Murder of a tobacconist. I'm not... Okay. I'm not going to tell you how to run your newspaper, guys, but... Uh, I feel like... That's maybe not front page news. Is that the only murder in all of England? Ooh, thinking. Let us examine this more closely. Nice. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. Uh, the double eye, obviously. Yes, this eye is weird. The A is yes, downset. The A appears to be quite unusual. Lowercase w? Hmm. The w is not printed properly. Let's look at that one, huh? The w is not printed properly. Uh, what about this weird line? Let us examine the characters in this world. Hmm. The w is not printed properly. What about the comma? Let us examine the okay. characters. Okay. So I think word. between the I and the W and the A, yes, we're good. I is weird. Let's check the other ladder. Right. Or typewriter. Compare this with. I'm trying. So that's. Uh... Yes. The I characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I did understand. We... Yes, the A 
appears to be quite unusual. In both. Oh, do I have to select it in one? Then the other. Oh, okay, I get it now. All right, sorry, sorry. That's right. The A characters. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm. Lowercase w. Mm. Now lowercase right. w here. Let us compare. Although, frankly, I think you're over explaining. Of course, the W characters in the toilet. My theory was right. Well, I don't know if that's your theory so much as the what the villain claims. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material. But there is nothing usual about this case, Hastings. Nothing must be overlooked. He ignores material proof? Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. What can we guess about the neck? Uh... No? Uh... I hold on. All right. Uh, what was special about the Andover murder? The letter. Oh, that's back silk. I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. It was in. The first victim was called. Yes. Thank you. That her name will, his or her name will start with B, obviously. So, Poirot. Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chapa. I will explain there. I wonder how I'm doing on ego points. Doing okay, right? Okay. Leave Whitehaven Mansion. Okay, gray cells. Well, we solved all of our gray cells, so that's nice. Can we sit down at our, our desk and just look classy? <sighs> okay, that's pretty great. Anything else to grab in here? Got the Asian art. Snacks left out, some wax fruit. Again, that's both very Poirot and very France of the 30s. That's right. That's a thing I know about it's France. Maybe time to go to. No, I'm gonna agree. All right, to Scotland Yard. Thank you. Again, I mean, I need to be told that time and again. But... I thought we would just get taken. Up. I guess that was silly. To Scotland Yard, please. Yeah, I think we could have just skipped to Scotland Yard, guys. Unless I'm now going to have to go through the front desk. Frankly, we could have just skipped to Jap's office. Nope, we are going to have to go through a whole rigmarole. Like, don't get me wrong, it's it's a pretty outside of Whitehaven Manors, it's a pretty outside of Scotland Yard, but is it is it necessary? If we don't have the character say, I'm going to Scotland Yard, and then if he's at Scotland Yard, we're not going to ask, I wonder how he got there. You should have shown a scene of him driving. Jap has invested a great deal in his career. A shooting trophy. A giant placard full of metal. Chief greatly respected by his peers. Well, yeah, he's the chief inspector. All right. Like all hunters, Hastings has always been fascinated by weapons. All right, time for a little scan. Oh, Jap. Jap appears to be snowed under. That's true. Is he in?
Really, the phone off the hook wasn't the clue there? Ah. Chap okay. appears to already be overloaded with work. My news is not going to improve matters. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Bonjour, Chief Inspector. I am afraid we have some bad news. I have just received another letter signed ABC. The next crime will be on the 20th. Are you completely sure it's wrong? I have compared the two letters. I suppose you think he's going to carry out. Ah! If I hadn't already compared the third letters, I might not have been able to say that I was And we have no idea who the next victim will be. Well, we have some idea. I suspect that the name of the second victim will start with B. What on earth makes you think such a thing? I thought about it when I saw the name Asher clearly written of the shop door of the unfortunate woman who was murdered in Andover last month. When I received the letter mentioned in Bexhill, I deduced that the victim, like the town, might have been chosen by alphabetical order. So it's an alphabet. Down with it, Poirot. I'm going to have a list drawn up of all the people whose name starts with B. I hope there aren't too many of them. Well, I'd imagine it is we more than work, Chief Inspector. four percent. You have a few days to prepare. Any yourself. letter is four percent. But thank you for coming, my friends. B is a pretty common thing to start last name. Throw out all the X's, Y. Not a lot of half flat. Poirot. Chief or E last name. Jab. Really value that foul last name. Indeed, Popular. we have just found the body of a young woman on the beach in Bexhill. An ABC was placed on the body. We'll be there as soon as possible. Poor Poirot. You can tell the cops, but they're not going to be able to get there. I feel like we might be getting into chapter two, so I'm gonna let's call this a preview of chapter one, and uh, and pause from there. Yeah, this is this is almost certainly. Bexhill is a delightful town. It would be nice to come. I do not entirely agree. Walking at the beach damages my shoes. Oh. So the years have not spared you, my friend. It's the same for... That is exactly what I said to myself when I saw you back... Poirot. Oh, Poirot. I You're the see worst. Jack waiting for us. And That's why I love face, you. I would say that things are not looking good. All right. So, I'm going to confirm this is in fact chapter two. The achievement. Yeah, okay. So, uh... Yeah, that was, uh, that was all of Chapter 1 of Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot in the ABC Murders. I gotta say, I'm really excited about the rest of this game. It's very solid. Like, the, the interrogation scenes I was obviously having some trouble with, but the puzzles weren't too taxing on my inability to do sliding puzzles. You know, I, I kind of brute forced way through my way through one of them, but the other one worked fine. The other two worked fine. Uh, the investigation thing, like in, oh, I am saved, right? Like, thanks for, don't you hate it when games won't tell you whether you've saved? That is, that is the worst. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, the investigation game when you're looking at, I'm, well, we're one quarter of the way through the game too, so that's good but have way less than a quarter of the ego points. I am bad at ego points, is obviously what's going on. What was my point? Yes, I will stop digressing. Uh, good puzzles, really good observation slash investigation mechanic. I like the little gray cells thing. Honestly, this has all been cribbed, or uh, bitten, if you will, pretty directly from the, the Sherlock Holmes series of games, which have just been getting better every single year. So, if they want to, if another company wants to completely bite the style of those games and start putting out competing Hercule Poirot or Miss Marple games, I'm going to be 100% down with that because the more decent mystery games we have out there, the happier I'm going to be. I'm going to, I'm going to ding this game for a lack of hidden objects, but uh, as the hidden object guru, I'm going to do that for any non-hidden object game I play. So if I, if I review, you know, Dark Souls Three here. I'm going to be pretty hard on it for a, a dearth of hidden objects. Although that's not a good statement. There actually are a lot of hidden objects. Anyway, 
thanks for playing along with this preview. Uh, I'm going to stop now because I've agreed to do that. But uh, in addition to my review, come by after that review has been posted and we'll do a playthrough of the rest of the game. Yay! So until then, uh, I've been the Hidden Object Guru, or as you know me, Fugsie. Uh, see you next time.